When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I think about is what I'm bidding on that day. 56-year-old Dean is addicted to online auctions, spending more time with his computer than with his wife, Karen. It's almost a full-time job for Dean. It could be eight hours a day. Because if something finishes at four in the morning, he would stay up till four in the morning. In one day, I would buy probably 20 items, maybe more. Oh, God, there's another two cameras in here. It could be a new television. Uh, it could be a car. There's another camera here. Oh, another camera. Candy floss makers, sunglasses, watches. I've forgotten my those, Karen. Did you? 30, 40 coats. That one. That's brand new, that one. And does he wear them? He does. No, not really. Some of these clothes are quite expensive. Um, goodness knows how much money I've spent on them. I wouldn't like to count up, really. <gasps> All with tags on. All brand Never new. even been worn. Not even been worn there. I'd like to buy guitars, equipment, Hawaiian shirts, uh, a caravan. In fact, he did bid on the boat, but fortunately we didn't win that because we've nowhere to put it. I mean, he did have five cars at one time. You bought that safe? Oh, I bought that. But yeah. he didn't realise that this was a toy. No. I thought I was buying a metal big safe for... A good price. He's not got a clue, have you, love? When I bid, I really get excited. It's the thrill of the win, I think. It's, it's like gambling in a way, I suppose. And if somebody was to outbid him by I don't know, five, ten pounds, he'd be beside himself. We could have bought a small house by now. Yeah. Wouldn't we? It's quite embarrassing, really. I feel embarrassed about it. Dean and Karen have been married for less than two years. Karen's under no illusion as to where she comes in relation to shopping. He spends an awful lot more time now than ever. And I do feel a little bit pushed out, to be honest with you, as if uh, he gets more attention than I do. So, yeah, it has got out of control. I would prefer to shop than go to the pictures or go to an event. It's taken over my life really taken on my life and I just think about it all the time. Dean squirrels away a lot of his buying in different storage locations across Yorkshire. But still, their home has become unbearable for wife Karen, prompting a drastic move to a bigger property in the same village. As you can see, as we've just moved, and yeah. these are all the boxes. <laughs> I've come to find out more. Well, it's got to the stage where we couldn't have anybody over to stay, even no. the grandchildren, because we couldn't get to the bed. All, all the things I bought was on top of the bed. We'd nowhere else to put them. We had to move, really. What, so. you couldn't just sort of maybe get rid of some of no. the stuff? <laughs> the postman has, like, a satchel, doesn't he? Yeah. Then he went to a little trolley, and then it got that bad, he had a little van. He has to come with the van now and he's bringing all my parcels. <laughs> your solution is to keep putting things in storage and keep buying a bigger Trying, house yes. and moving to a bigger house yeah. and a bigger house. <laughs> Dean's already filled every cupboard in their new house. His purchases are spilling into the spare room. You've just got a few here. And, <gasps> and these are just all brand new, unused, never come out of the plastic. Yeah, oh. never even took them out of the... Some children's watches. We've got an awful lot of sunglasses as well. Yeah. I'm sure we've got a suitcase full of sunglasses. A suitcase full of sunglasses? I would imagine it's that one, I think. Dean, when you're buying a watch online, what's going through your mind? It's just a case of buying them. And do you have plans for them? When to you... put them in this box. <laughs> what happens is that you'll get things on eBay, so you'll leave it on your desk for a while, so I'll put it in one of the boxes yeah. and then he'll forget and all about, forget it. about it. And that's how it starts to stack. I see. So for you, the, the excitement is actually that moment of purchase. Yes. yes. Sometimes Point. I see him bidding on something and I think, oh, God, that's just going to go in the spare room. What's inside this house is the tip of the iceberg because he's got storage full of cheap, tacky, plastic junk for want of a better word. Ooh, sunglasses. Uh, oh, I'd forgotten all about those. The Dean doesn't care about, he doesn't even know what's in those boxes. And so it seems really 
pointless, but still he can't stop. Dean spends eight hours a day glued to online auctions, but I'm not sure he really knows how much money, as well as time, he's wasting. So show me some of the type of things that you're looking at online at the moment. All right, at the moment I've just bid on this one and I've won this for the kitchen. There it is, we can look at the pictures now, I think. £51. Which I think I've got a bargain there. And so how do you feel having just won that? Fantastic. It's like scoring a goal at football, I suppose. It's, it's, it's that thing that you get, you know, that elation of, uh, of winning the bid. How much do you reckon you spend, like, each week or...? It goes in... Uh, I'm not sure, because I don't really... But the fact that you have absolutely no idea about how much you've spent, not, not worrying to you at all? Um, I have an overdraft at the bank, so... <laughs> Dean's oblivion to his spending is staggering. Hopefully Karen can shed some real light on his finances. Do you know if Dean's in debt? Yes, he is, definitely. Do you know how much? Yes. Are you willing to share? I think it's 15,000. Really? Mm-hmm. Right. So that makes this situation a lot more serious. It does. I really do worry that if Dean carries on the way he's been going, he is going to do irreparable damage to not only his finances but also to his relationship because it must be so hard for Karen to just have to put up with it on a daily basis when it's completely unnecessary. I have quite a lot coming today and it's a um, big excitement it's a little buzz that I get that every morning I'm here and I'm waiting for him, so uh, I never know what's coming. Karen sees things differently. I'm just thinking, oh my God, how much? What is it? Do we need it? It upsets me really because it's a waste of money. That's money that we could be doing something constructive with. Hi there. Thank you. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten today. It's like Christmas. <laughs> it really worries me, to be honest with you. On a daily basis, I'm trying to find where to put things. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> you can't get into this one. What's this blue, eh? Oh, wow. But I want to see what else I've got as well, so you can take that. Are you bored with this one now? Just a little bit, but we'll see what's in this one now. So I'll put that over there. It's the bidding and the winning, and then opening the, pre the parcels. But well, they're like presents to him, I think. I think that's probably how he looks at them. Um, but it is, it's just that thrill. The Hawaiian shirts is something that I do buy and I do collect them. It's like my watches and my guitars and things. That is actually essential, that, because everything has to match. I don't think that'll even fit Dean. That's out of Dean's mind now, today's purchases. He's on tomorrow's. It's gone up. I've still been outbid. So I'm going to go up to £15.9p now just continues to just buy and buy and buy and I'd say 75% of the items that we receive are things that we don't really need, want or require. I'm the high bidder. I'm winning the bid. Yay! Dean's on his fourth marriage. I really want him to spend more time with Karen and rediscover the world outside of online auctions. I'm asking him to try something he's never done before. Go cold turkey. Delete eBay. OK. Gone. Gone. There you go. I feel like I've lost my hand. I bet you're surprised, aren't you? I'm that really done surprised that. Yeah. that you've actually done it. I bet you are, yeah. Think of all the time that you're going to have to yourself I now. I know, well, I will want to. And time, more time for you as well. Oh, that'd be nice.
Dean's agreed to try and stay off the auction site for three weeks. I think the hardest part of uh, not going online is um, I do it, it's just automatic for me. We could be sat watching TV, but I'm always on there looking at what's happening, but that's going to be the hardest part, not, not having it there at the side of me. Dean will be starving himself of a habit he's fed eight hours a day, day in and day out, for years. But it's like a little break, this, isn't it? It's like just getting out. We need to make more time to do something like this because for a cup of coffee and a sandwich, yeah. there's nowhere near as much as you spend, spend on the on... internet. Yeah. To help Dean, I've suggested he uses some of the time freed up from shopping to get rid of the stuff he's stored in friends' garages and warehouses all over Yorkshire by selling it at a car boot. I actually bought this from eBay to try and learn the keyboards. It had all the things on there, all the different notes. I think I bought at the time on a whim, really, just to... I think I've played it once. A lot of it's just a load of rubbish, really, isn't it? By facing up to the things he's buried in boxes, I hope to open Dean's eyes to what's truly important. Well, these, these bring back some memories now, look. Amongst piles of discarded purchases, Dean stores memorabilia from his past life as an 80s pop star. That's me with black lace there. They just mean so much when you look back on your life, what you've achieved and done. And I'm upset that they've just been put into a box and closed up and put away in storage. And the other things are immaterial, really. They're not, you know, they mean nothing. But when you open that open, and find what used to be. I brought a tear to my eye, that did. I know you shouldn't always live on your past, but it is it's just lovely memories of, of, uh, of my life. As Dean's pop stardom waned, online shopping filled the gap. It's seductive stuff, and easy to see how without it, his life feels empty. Another day, this is getting harder and harder not to go on. To be honest, I had a sneaky look on yesterday, but uh, I did manage not to, to buy anything. Click on screen for more videos of extraordinary humans.